What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Let's address the elephant in the room. So, Cola, Twerk, and J2, Snake Eyes controversy. So, Snake Eyes and J2 had a battle where a lot of people was trying to say that J2 3 old Snake Eyes. That wasn't the case. I did a recap on it and broke it down. I had J2 winning the battle, but it was a very close battle. It went down to the third round, but it definitely wasn't the third. I had Snake Eye winning the first round. I mean, losing the first round, 24 to 27. That's how close it was. I had Snake Eyes winning the second round. Look how clearly it was, 27 to 14. I had Snake Eyes losing the third round, 12 to 14, because he stopped his round short in the third round. But even though he stopped his round short in the third round, J2 only had 14 points and said his whole round. So what do that tell you? But I had J2 winning the battle 2-1, first and third. Snake Eyes clearly won the second, clearly. So it wasn't no three rounds. It wasn't no three round. Uh, no 3-0. Now, with that being said, um, somehow Cola and J2 had a bet. Now, what I'm hearing, it was a $100 bet, but they said the bet was depending on who got 30. So J2 is believing Cola owed him because people saying it was a 30. It wasn't a 30. So if that's the case, he don't owe you. But even though it's like, well, the majority of the people saying it, man, it don't matter what the majority of the people saying. Because we know that this is a biased community. Okay? We know this is a biased community. But you didn't 30 him. There's no way you know battle rap. And you know you ended your second round very short. You didn't win that. You didn't 30 Snake Eyes. You clearly lost that second round. Clear. And some people who not keeping score might well air Snake Eyes that first round. But I was keeping score, and because I was keeping score, I had you winning by three points. But that's, that was a close round, okay? However, when, when it took to Twitter, after the battle was over, J2 had reached out to Snake Eyes, not Snake Eyes. He reached out to Cola, and he said to Cola, can I get paid my money? Cola hit back saying, no, sir. He haven't seen the battle yet. J2 hit back like, how you supposed to be from the Midwest, but you don't want to pay nobody their money. You act like you paying the person who was talking disrespectful to you or something like that. But it's okay, though, type stuff. And Cola hit back like, okay, well, since you're talking and speaking like that, I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't giving you nothing. Forget that bet. You know, then J2 come back on like, oh, you basically D-sucking another guy who called you a D-sucker, you know, like you... You know, he said some, then twerk come on and say to J2, well, if he, if one D sucker called him a D sucker, then I guess he a D sucker. Cola come bomb back. Yeah. Keep my name out your mouth. Stop disrespecting me. BA nigga type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So since Norbs was busting your DM, do that also mean that, you know, <laughs> that's basically what he was saying. Uh, said, Nora was popping your BM, then she must be going too. So Twerk was like, yeah, I'll see you soon. Then Cola was like, yeah, it's whatever, it's up. 
Then Twerk said, I was just joking with Jay, Jay too. Not on Twitter. If you made up a public tweet, you wasn't just joking with Jay too. Especially seeing you one of the biggest dudes in battle rap. So when you made that statement, you didn't say that in J2 DM, whatever Jeff between y'all. You publicly made put that tweet out there with people commenting on it, liking it, retweeting it, so it can get back to Cola like it did. And then he laughed back out at you for calling him a D sucker and saying it's whatever. Nothing to let y'all play with me. Cola also went online saying, I'm going to recap the battle because I haven't saw the battle yet. I coach my kid. What do you say? Soccer or football? Football or soccer? Same thing, some people say. He said, hey, I coached them, so I wasn't able to see the battle. But I'm going to see the battle and do my recap Monday and let you know what happened. But somehow that wasn't good enough for J2. He wasn't trying to hit it. He figured Cola was trying to find a way to renege, not knowing if what he was saying was true or not. I don't know if he saw the battle or not. I can't tell. You. But he said he coached his kids. I ain't going to, I ain't, you know. Anyway, again, if the bat with Snake Eyes got 30, he didn't get 30. So I don't think Cola owed you no money. All the extra stuff that was put in there behind that. I think it was unnecessary for all parties. It was unnecessary for you, J2, to actually take it to the extreme to challenge him on where he from, insinuating that he's not a stand-up dude. When the man said that he hadn't seen the battle yet because he was with his kids and he'll recap it and let you know, it was out of pocket for twerk to then get in the conversation between y'all two. That's why people take the Twitter. See, people take the Twitter to start this mess. To make that statement, being a public figure in battle rap, knowing it was going to hold some weight to it, coming from twerk. To make uh, Cola not care and challenge him and disrespect him to the point that now threats is going up that when I see you, you know what's up. And Cola like, okay, it is what it is. It's not good for neither one of you brothers. And the one thing I don't like about black men, it, 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 and this is what led to a lot of these brothers getting killed, that you see all on the internet, that when you wrong, you don't accept responsibilities and actually uh, 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 correct where the fault lies as a result of pride and not wanting to seem like you weak. Let me tell you something. That's not a sign of weakness. When you as a man can acknowledge what you went wrong at and can win your brother back rather than making an enemy. What's weak is when you know you was out of pocket, then you don't want to address it and acknowledge it and don't care where it, what, what it lay at, putting others in harm way, even yourself. That's what's weak. That's what's weak. As a man, if you offend somebody as a man, it's nothing to say, bro, I was out of pocket. I called that wrong. My bad. Nothing is wrong with that. In fact, that's strength. That's power. That's what's missing out of today. Not having stand-up men that's able to recognize these things. But again, we so conditioned to dislike each other. We so conditioned to hate one another that even when we wrong, we don't care. We be wrong and strong. Did you hear what I said? We be wrong and strong, even though that's weak, that you don't care about dying for the lie, jeopardizing your family for the lie as a result of pride. That's terrible. And it ain't worth it. We show off so much, it ain't even funny. All we do is show off. We so arrogant, we so prideful, we want everybody to see us as something that we know in our heart and conscience we really not. So many of them brothers didn't want to die but went anyway. So many of them brothers didn't want to go to jail but ended up going anyway. Because they just didn't have the guts to say no. 
They just didn't have it in them to do the right thing when their conscience was already telling them. Twerk, you was out of pocket for speaking on a matter that didn't concern you and it led to disrespect towards you. J2, you was out of pocket also for not allowing the man to actually reconsider what he may have said after he watched the battle saying he was with his kids at a game and that he was going to recap it. You overreacted and jumped into action so that you could get people like they do on Twitter to just vouch for you and okay and hard to and and when you challenge the man then you bring things out of the man. And things like that. That wasn't cool. I just want to know which one of you brothers going to be mad enough to acknowledge where you went wrong at and correct the situation rather than getting everybody else involved in this mess. So that's what it all comes down to. That's what it all comes down to. And this is the era we live in. in. People be saying they love their homies and guys or their family members, but don't have no problem with sending them off. You're putting cables on them, but you love them. These your homies, these your guys, you slide and ride for them, but you don't have no problem with sending them off. Right. It is what it is, man. I just hope brothers can start just growing up. Start being mature, man. Stop being so foolish and ignorant. Stop being so gullible. Stop looking for approval and acceptance in others. And know that at the end of the day, you and this alone. You the only one going to have to stand before God. You the only one nine times out of ten going to have to answer for your own actions. Stop thinking that you got partners and homies because you don't. Because let me tell y'all something real. Let me tell you something about this, this gang stuff that's so fake that y'all need to come to the knowledge of. Alpha males cannot live together. So if you want to gang the crew and y'all supposed to be alpha males, there's going to be betrayal because alpha males don't look up to other alpha males. They want separation from the other one, even if it means betraying them. So stop thinking guys, your guys, because what they are allowing you to say, what they are allowing you to do, what they are allowing you to give. Because at the end of the day, if they alpha males, betrayal is right around the corner. You're going to get snaked. You're going to be talked about and you're going to find out they're going to become your enemies. The Bible say cursed is the man who put his faith, put his trust in another man. That's why your real family, your real gang, supposed to be your wife and your kids. Because them the ones not going to betray you. Why? Because they know and they come from your body. They come from your body. And you put your body and your wife, y'all become one soul through the intercourse. And your children come from your body. Nine times out of ten, they have your best interests. And they know what you mean to the family. So keeping you alive mean they survival. But when you're dealing with friends and guys, your life can be in a way that they believe of their success. Which why a lot of these guys get betrayed by their best friends and homies. Especially when you're dealing with alpha males. So if you got shooters and hitters, they consider it alpha males. Now their guns pointing at you. Now they sneaking you. Now they pouring salt on you. Because alpha males don't get along with each other. If you see a group of men always together with each other, you can bet if they alpha males, there's going to be some friction sooner or later. Because only the beta men stay around other men. Bustin' no streets for you, leave me